Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about inheritance in Python. So if we just understand the word inheritance, what exactly it means. So inheritance word in general means that you inherit certain properties from the parent or ancestors, right? So if we talk about general ourselves, then we inherit certain properties, the voice, the way we talk from our parents and ancestors, right? That is inherited from our ancestors. Then if we talk about money, very important aspect. So our ancestors, grandparents, etc., they had the money and which we inherited. So they provided us gifts and uh, money that when they pass away, they the kids and other generations basically inherit. So Python in inheritance is same. I'll demo how inheritance basically works. So it's basically something which you get free of cost from the parent class. So say, for example, there is a parent class in Python and then there is a child class. A so child class will be able to inherit the properties and functions of the parent class. So let me quickly create a file and name the file as inheritance demo. Okay, so now let's, for example, we have a parent class. So now as we have understood about the inheritance, when we talk about inheritance, the child class can inherit the properties and functions of the parent class. Let's quickly define a parent class. So I'll simply name it as parent class. All right. Okay. Now in the parent class, let me define the method so I'll simply say init and here simply let's print a statement parent class instance let's create one more method and here I'll say parent method print statement there or let's put it parent class money okay or parents money basically Okay, this is my parents class. This is parents money, which um, if I'm the child, I'll inherit, right? So let's say that there's the parent class and has a one particular method. Okay, now in order to establish or in order to use inheritance, basically what we need to do is say, for example, there is a, another class, which is the child class. So I'll say simply child class. Okay and within this child class you have to specify from which parent class you want to inherit all the properties from right so you have to specify the parent class there so say for example i want to inherit all the properties from this particular parent class in this child class then i'll specify the parent class so class space child class name in the parenthesis the parent class name from which you want to inherit all the properties followed by the colon okay now in the child class let's define the init method okay now before that let me simply pass it okay so as of now let me close it so now in the child class i haven't defined anything as such right so let's see if with this particular class, I can inherit all the properties of the parent class. So now if, say, for example, I have to access the method of the parent class, what I'll do is I'll create an object of the parent class, right? So I'll simply say parent class, right? And that's it, right? And then if I have to call the method in the parent class, I'll simply say p dot parent method. And then this will call the method within the parent class. Now this p is the instance of this particular parent class right so p is the reference to the instance of the parent class and now i can call the method so if i run this now you will see parent class inherit instance and parents money got printed okay now this child class can inherit all the properties from the parent class okay because we are inheriting the parent class when we created this child class so how we can understand that that this particular child class is inheriting all the properties so let's say we in this particular case we create the instance of the parent class now let's create an instance of the child class and see what all methods and properties it can access from the parent class 
So to create a child instance, let's create a variable C and I'll say child class. Okay. And then if you see C dot, you will see that I can access parent method here. So properly, that's perfectly fine. If I run this now, you will see that it again printed parent class instance and parent money right which is not defined in this particular child class at all all the definition of these methods basically parent class instance and parents money is coming from the parent class right so this is how inheritance basically works in python and the syntax how you will define uh, the inheritance so whenever you are defining a class child class or a subclass basically in the parenthesis specify the parent class name and all the attributes and properties and methods that you have defined in the parent class you will be able to access successfully those into the child class and it is exactly the same as we inherit the money from our parents we are as the child class we are now able to inherit this particular money and properties right so this is very simple example now let's say we'll take the same example here right so we we talked about class variable and instance variable where we had this rate of interest okay and rate of interest we hypothetically understood that a bank charges same rate of interest for all the people who go to the bank now this is very this is not true because rate of interest changes for the particular set of customers say for example if a student goes to a bank they will be charged low rate of interest if a business person goes, they'll be charged higher. If a farmer goes, they'll be charged higher, right? So how inheritance can help in these particular scenarios? Now, in this particular case, we had these instances created. So let me remove these. Okay. So now we had this parent class rate of interest. Now, say, for example, there is a student who wants to go ahead and get the loan. So for the student bank wants to charge low rate of interest. So say for example, this particular student, uh, we'll create a child class, which is student, which is child of the rate of interest. And then we'll pass the parent class as rate of interest, right? So now this student class inherits all the definition and properties that you have defined in this particular parent class, which is rate of interest. Okay. So now if we create say for example i'll simply do pass here and if we create a instance of the child class okay so we'll say student and then pass the name of the student say for example and the loan amount that the person is looking for say for example five lakhs okay so if we create an object and we call the calculate interest method okay so now this is please note that this is the child class instance and not the parent class instance so because this child class is inheriting all the properties of the parent class i should be able to call this calc interest method which is in the parent class successfully in my child class instance right so you can see total interest has been calculated successfully for this student class now what is the benefit of this inheritance here say for example in the student for the student we want to charge different rate of interest so we can define a variable interest here and we can simply say for students we only want to charge four percent of interest instead of six percent that we charge generally so now in this particular case what will happen is because there is an interest um, a variable defined within the student class then this particular variable will be given preference when we call the calc interest because this interest is coming from the student class right so if we run this now you can see the total interest for the student has been calculated based on the 0 0.04 percent okay so this is how we will basically use the concept of inheritance and overriding i'll cover overriding in next tutorial but for now this is i just want to show you that if there is a parent class we can have the child class and child class can inherit all the properties and then we can use all the methods and properties that are defined in the parent class and also we can override certain properties and methods 
as per the child class if you want so that's how the object oriented programming concept of inheritance and overriding is in general and in python this is how you tackle that particular situation now in selenium automation we'll be using these concepts when we go to the automation framework section and i'll rephrase all those scenarios as i go along in the selenium automation framework tutorials as well so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching